going to be a quick video just to show you how to make a landing page um, like this one using lead pages. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it quick. I'll go over everything how to do it, but um, I don't want to spend too much time doing it. So I'll just try to do it as quick as I can and give you the gist of it so you'll be able to go through and do it. Um, but yeah, not going to take too long. Um, so this is my landing page. I'll show you how to make it. Um, just simple for my app, guidable. Uh, my name is Travis DeRose, Trav DeRose by the way, TravDeRose.com, just want to say that. Uh, but this is it, just a quick thing, little stuff, features, everything like that. So um, let's get to it. So I use Lead Pages. Um, so this is Lead Pages. I'll have a link to that. You can just click on Lead Pages, sign up. Um, it is a little expensive. It's not the cheapest thing. I do the $25 per month, so it's not terrible, but it is. it makes stuff so much easier. It's totally worth it, in my opinion. So uh, that's how I'm going to teach you to make this landing page using lead pages. There's other ways to do it, but you know, this is the easiest and fastest way for sure, which is which I'm all about. Um, so after you create your account, you'll log in and you'll have a screen like this. Uh, so just head up and say create new page. Um, and then the one that the template that I used is this buff one here, the mobile app download page, which is free. So say use template. This will all be about how to create a landing page for a mobile app. Um, so here's the set one, the one that it comes with. Um, you can see it kind of looks like mine, but mine's a little different. Uh, so let's just get started. I mean, you're going to want to have a screenshot for your. Um, for your app, right? So all you do is just click the little settings things, image options, upload your, upload new picture, upload your screenshot, and you know, just use any of these. And there it is, it's just that easy. You can, you know, put your own logo in here. It's all the same image options, just do all that stuff. Um, you know, obviously just type whatever you want to type in there. So just, you know, it's pretty straightforward, easy. Um, that's all you have to do and just go through. What's nice too is like, say you don't want this bar, you just click for the, it's content too over here. So just click the I thing and you can show it or not show it. Just go through, like I didn't have a video, so I didn't show the video. Um, so that's it. I didn't want to have a launch countdown. <clears throat> didn't show that. Excuse me. <clears throat> Whoa. Uh, up here, I change. You can change these little icons. I just went um, to my website, and my theme had these things, so I was able to get them. But you could probably just find a Google search, get some royalty-free icons that you can replace those with. Again, change the text for all your stuff. Change the photos, um, and then what you're going to want to do is these are all little buttons. So you're going to change the link options, and you want to go want to go to a URL. And what I did for this is, here I'll show you, because there's an App Store and a Google Play button, I didn't want to show this. Uh, so let's get rid of the Merchant 3, the Amazon button. So I just got rid of that. Um, but what I did to kind of track if people are clicking the App Store, the Apple App Store, or the Google Play button, so I know which which would be more popular and which would be the best uh, platform for me to start on is I went to bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y and I shortened um, the links to another landing page that I made and basically I was able to uh, separate them out so I did a separate little bit.ly link for that one and a separate one for that one and uh, so you can see I have this is the Apple App Store button I had 19 clicks on that one and the Google Play button only had 7 so it looks like all the best platform to start off would be um, Apple iOS so that's a good little trick to do um, makes it easy so after you've kind of done gone through all this you're happy with your the way your landing page looks just click Save oh we gotta enter a name so I'll call it um, podcast landing page um, that's good makes up a little thing a little uh, URL that you can use uh, if you want to direct people to your landing page this way, but I recommend setting up your own URL and redirecting it there because it looks way more professional. Um, so that so let's see how it looks. 
Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Let's click save. I don't want to do this lead box right now. Um, I apologize. Okay, we'll just get past it. I'll just say, I'll just hook up one of these forms. Um, customize the form. Okay, you can go through all this. That's basically just setting up your email opt-in stuff uh, so that if, if, if instead of directing to uh, another URL, you want to have a, a little email collection box pop up, you can integrate all that with MailChimp or whatever. So now we'll save it. Saving, saving, saving. Okay. So there it's all saved. So now let's publish it. There we go. Um, so let's view page. So this is the just straight up uh, URL. You can use this if you want. Or what I do is... Um, I use Bluehost to have my own website and I have hosting and everything like that and I just bought a, another domain for like eleven ninety nine called uh, guideableapp.com which I would highly recommend doing that. I'm not going to go into how to do that because just you can find another video. Just search uh, you know, Bluehost uh, WordPress site. There's a ton of videos on how to set that up. Um, okay, let's go back here. So once you have a WordPress site set up, you can do the WordPress plugin. So go to your dashboard on your WordPress site. So I'm on the guideableapp.com uh, dashboard. And add the new plugin, add the lead pages plugin. Just search that. Once you have that uh, up and running, you'll get this little tab on the side. So click that. Um, click add new. And it will come up. I'm quite sure it will. All right, and then, so here it already has it. My new lead page that I want it to display is podcast landing page. You can select any of your ones here. Um, you want it to just appear as a normal page. Maybe you want your home page, um, but I'm just going to do a normal page. I'll type in a custom URL. Okay, and just do publish. And there you go. That is it. So now if we go to guideableapp.com slash podcast landing page, there is the landing page. So that's it. Really, it's uh, pretty simple. Um, and yeah, once you have this up set up, it just makes you, it's a lot, it's nice to just direct people to a, a simple landing page and show them your idea for your app and and how everything's going to look and, and get going. So hopefully that helps. Uh, again, I'll have links to to uh, lead pages, Bluehost, all that stuff down there. Um, those are affiliate links, so I do get a little bit of uh, income from that. So if you guys want to help me out by clicking those, I really appreciate it. But, you know, no hard feelings if you don't. I no, You don't have to. No problem. Um, so hopefully you guys appreciated this. And uh, check out TravDeRose.com. And 